All right, this one's gonna be on Python readability program. Uh, it's a way to strip out bloat from a website so you can just get to the contents of it. So for example, we have, um, you know, this URL here, right? Uh, and you can see that it has like advertised on top, on the side here. And generally when you're browsing, you just wanna see the contents of it and nothing else. You know, like down here, they have like uh, user comments and stuff like that. We don't care about that, right? So, uh, how does this one look like in the uh, terminal? Uh, in the terminal here, we can do and open this here. And you see a bunch of header links here, right? So you can do one page, two page, three page, four page before you even get to the contents here. Um, you know, that takes too much time when you're um, browsing from, you know, your um, text user interface uh, web browser. So uh, what this one would do is strip out, you know, all the, uh, you know, header links here and just get to our content real quick. Uh, so this one's the Python version, right? So how do you use this here? Uh, so this is the help page for it. And, you know, not that hard here. They have, uh, if you want to open to a web browser, uh, this one would be your GUI web browser. Um, and another one is going to do the dash U for URL. So real simple, the program is, let me do a dash U here. We'll grab this uh, URL here, right? And we'll paste that in here. And we're gonna output it to a, I don't know what you call it, output dot uh, HTML, All right? So that's how it looks like when, um, or this is how it looks like when um, you're opening here. XDG open. And so this is our, you know, a stripped version of that article. Uh, they have all the um, text. And as far as the images, they're pulling it from that server. So it actually doesn't save the uh, images, right? Um, but this is the original. And this is our stripped version. That's locally. And how does it look like in uh, W3M itself? So you can do W3M output here. to see our... Uh, you know, uh, HTML file, how it looks like here. So you see it strips out all the um, header links and even all the comments at the bottom that we saw on the original page, right? So, uh, what was it? Last time we talked about this one was readability CLI and that one was like Node.js uh, and people saying that's bloat. So here's the lesser bloat called Python uh, you can install and use, all right? So how does this look like? Uh, if you're using the AUR, it should be called Python Readability LXML. So that's the package uh, that you need to install. As far as if you're using um, it with the hotkey that I explained last time with the other program, uh, we're gonna set that up here. So this one should be in your, what is that, the uh, .w3m key map. And we're just gonna map this to a leader capitalize R, so leadership R. And we're gonna do the same thing, you know, we type in the, um, what is that, the commands right here, right? And this is the URL that's gonna grab from the current uh, buffer. And it's gonna output it to a, um, a temporary file called readability.html. And we're gonna load it back into that same tab or buffer. And uh, we're gonna read it from there, right? So shout out to YouTuber Proteus X. Um, you know, and here's the project for it. And I believe that's the package name. So shout out to him for recommending this. If you don't want to use Node.js and you know, you think that's bloat personally for me, if it's more than bash it's all bloat to me. All right. <laughs> so Python, Node.js, they're all the same boat to me. Anyways, uh, how do you use this when you're, um, you know, browsing the net here? So this is where I got the uh, URL from here. So this was the main page and if we hit our hotkey, uh, leader shift R here. You can see that, you know, it has this um, readability.html that I will reload back to our same tab. So this is the original, this is our um, stripped version, right? So you can do this with any other website like that torrent freak here. What have we got in here? So this article here, I'm gonna do a uh, leadership R. And here we go, see it strips out all the um, unnecessary stuff and just gives us the contents only. 
So there you go. You can do it with any other site in here. I'll say generally, um, as far as using both of them, uh, sometimes the readability, uh, you know, CLI one, the Node.js one, it actually works on some sites, uh, and this one, it actually doesn't work on the same site. So it's hit or miss with this program. And, you know, generally 90% of the time it still works with most of the sites. So it's not a bad uh, option if you don't want to use uh, Node.js and you want to use Python, then this is where you will use that. So let's say, for example, does this one work? There you go. Another one, right? Uh, real simple. If you just want to hit the hotkey and there you go, it strips out all the uh, unnecessary stuff and just gives you the contents of it. Anyways, that's the Python version of readability. Uh, if you want to strip out, um, you know, web pages and just look at the contents only. That'll be for this one.